Hello, Tia. It's Saturday, the 8th of September 2012. Welcome to today's United Kingdom talk. My name's Chris Reardon and we came back last week after six months and I can't believe the amount of lovely emails that you've sent in. Look, this this is in a week. This is in a week. Unbelievable. So thank you so much for those. I really do appreciate your nice messages and bits and people. And I'm going to read them all out. I, 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 I've got this thing. I'm reading all these out today. And there's quite a lot to read. Um, but I, I, will, I, will, I will try. I will try. If, it, if, if I look at the clock and it starts getting like, oh, I think that might be a bit too long. How much more can they take of this? Of me rabbiting on non-stop here. A particular thing that people were quite interested was, was um, the cat peels you remember i told you about uh tiny my uh, not tiny oh isn't that funny tiny's a cat i had and she died three years ago you may those of you that have been with us a long time may remember that happening it was a very very upsetting time and for some reason i just called my cat tiny how strange that is anyway katie has to have uh, two pills a day uh, for an overactive thyroid gland, which means if she doesn't have the pills, she gets thinner and thinner and thinner until there's nothing left. And uh, I was explaining to you how I put the fingers in the mouth like that, and then I took her hair out like that, uh, uh, and with that hand, I hook it. Uh, I and sometimes, sometimes it goes straight. Oh, I've just something on my fingers. Oh, I know where that is. I've just put the washing machine on. Oh, at least I live clean inside. I think, I think I've just swallowed a piece of um, uh, washing up powder. I will have clean insides now. Perhaps when I go to the toilet, it'll look, it'll look, you know, like that water looks, that dirty water. Oh, don't go there. Let's not go there, please. Anyway, so uh, talking of cats and uh, my cat, Katie. Katie the cat and her pills. Stella Andrews, uh, via Facebook, writes this email and says, cats and pills never go easily together. Oh, you don't have to tell me about that. You know, I have been putting it in her meals, but recently she's been eating the meal and then I find the pill somewhere on the floor later on. And it is important that the, the, the vet told me it's important that she has these. If she doesn't have, if she misses a couple of them, her thyroid level or something can go sky high. So, you know, it is important that she has them on time. As with all pills, you know, I know people who are ill for whatever reason. I have to have a, a couple of pills. Um, each day, and if if I was to miss enough miss enough of them, I would get into trouble. And it's the same with people with uh, various other bits and pieces. I don't know diabetes, that sort of thing. You know, if you miss your tablets, you get in serious trouble. And people people are some people are a bit. I don't know why they want to do this, but some people want a drugs holiday. Okay, a drugs holiday. It's not where you go away and take drugs. Good God, dear, no, it's. Having a holiday, having a break from taking your pills. And I don't understand why people would want to do that. You know, if, if it's going to affect them in some way, in some bad way, then why would you want to take holiday drugs? The reason you're given drugs is to keep you alive. You know, that's why. So sometimes I do wonder about these people who, who want to take a holiday drug, uh, want to take a break from taking it. It's never really a good idea. I mean, you wouldn't be on them. You wouldn't be on anything unless it was absolutely necessary. You know, the NHS, certainly in this country, don't want to be giving out pills if they can help it. You know, there's only a limited amount of resources, isn't there? Our wonderful NHS. Anyway, and it's the same with cats. If they're supposed to take drugs, then you must give them to them. Otherwise, they get ill again. Stella writes, however, I've got the perfect way. As you know, I've got three cats, all with some ailment. Poor little things, bless them. How? I use a one milliliter syringe. Now, that, is, that must be one of those um, uh, injection things, isn't it? Put some milk, tea, water, or whatever you have in it at hand. Well, my cat, oh, she likes milk, dear. Oh, she shouldn't really do this. Now and again, what after, please don't tell anyone this. Because you might think I'm dirty. OK? That's <laughs> a few people out there think I'm dirty, actually. No, please don't tell anyone this. But sometimes... So, I'm going to have to have a quick look out the window to check the neighbour's not listening, because she sometimes does. Just a moment. It's OK, she's not there. I don't want my neighbours to think I'm a dirty person. You know what I mean? So, I, you know, as... as 
I thought I heard someone. You know, as my friend, okay, as my friend, you know my, some of my little secrets, you know, you know that sometimes I wear t-shirts two days in a row, or socks two days in a row, or jeans for a week. Sometimes I don't change my sheets for a whole two weeks. OK, but that is between you and me and not to tell anyone else. OK, so I'm going to tell you this as well. Right. This is another one. This is another one of my little secrets. Sometimes after I've had breakfast in the morning. OK, so I've got my, you know, I have my blueberries and bran flakes religiously every morning. Oh, incidentally, I found a new breakfast that I quite like. You get it from Waitrose. Um, fruit, oh, what's it called now? Fruit and Bran, I think it is. Oh, it's lovely. From Waitrose. You've got to get the Waitrose one. Okay. I have tried some of the cheaper ones. They're not as nice. The Waitrose one, which you'll pay a little bit more for. Really nice. Fruit and Bran Flakes, I think it's called. I haven't got the box anymore because I've, I've, I think I've eaten the whole thing in a week. Anyway, so after I've had my fruit and bran cakes with bran flakes, with blueberries, with full fat milk, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you've got to have full fat milk on your breakfast. After I've had that, the cat is often, she's at the door, meow, meow, Katie, right? And I let her in, she comes running in the living room and then sits there and waits for me to finish my breakfast. And then I put my, shh, shh, don't tell anyone this. Then I put, I'm sure there's someone listening. Then I put my bowl on the chair next to me, no, on the settee next to me, on the cushion. Right? She jumps up and licks the bowl. Please don't tell anyone that. Okay, some, some people would think that would be really dirty. She actually licks the bowl. She finishes the milk. Okay? So that's... Remember, that's our secret. Please don't tell people that. They will think I'm dirty. I'm not dirty. I do have a shower most days. Most days, yes. <sighs> Thank you. Well, we'll carry on this. Anyway, Stella goes on to say, I use a one, me one milliliter syringe, put some milk, water or tea or whatever you have. So I'd probably put milk in there. She says, pop the peel in the mouth, hold it, grab the syringe, pop that in her mouth and squirt. They can't help but squallow. <laughs> this sounds a very messy business, Stella, to be honest. She says, um, syringe, not with a needle, just the end. It's a bit like the mother teats, you know, the little things on the under 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 mummy cat's belly that they all suck away at. Um, pill goes down a treat, no stress on the cat, quick and easy and less hassle for you. It does the work. I do it every day with two of the cats, multicoloured cat and the black one as well. You can buy a syringe from any of the chemists for about a pound. Oh, I don't know about that. I can't see myself going into the chemist and saying, oh, have you got any syringes? They might think I'm a junkie. Might think I'm jacking up down with heroin down in the town up a bit. Or maybe I'm a bit old to do that, am I? Would they look at me and think, oh, no, he won't be doing anything. What do, you <laughs> what do you think? They might think I'm a drug addict of some sort. I'm not going into no chemists and asking for syringes, dear. Oh, God's sake. Or ask the vet for one after all that you want something for £125. Yeah, I know it's that. You want anything from the vet, it's, isn't it, dear? God, isn't it dear? The, the, the tablets, actually, that I bought her, um, I asked for a prescription at the vet. You may remember I told you this way back in March. I'm sure it was back in March. Well, did you know this already? Anyway, so I asked for a prescription for the vet and I ordered the pills online from an online company. Hell of a lot cheaper. And they can send you a maximum of six months. So after six months, you have to go back to the vet again, another blood test, and then they give you another prescription, which all in all is about 120 quid. Oh, dear. So dear. But we love our pussies, don't we? We love our pussies, girls. We absolutely do, dear. Um, 
Stella says, the old cat was dancing to your podcast this morning. Oh, that'd be the music podcast that I put. Uh, now and again, I put music podcasts on my Facebook. My Facebook username, incidentally, if you want to join me on there, is uh, Chris Reardon UK. All right, Chris Reardon UK. Join me on the Facebook. There you get all the updates for where I'm working. If I'm doing a uh, either a karaoke, a disco, or a quiz somewhere. And of course, whenever there's a new show, it goes straight on the Facebook pod on the Facebook. And also music podcasts that I sometimes do. It's dance music. Music, I put those on there as well, okay? Once again, facebook.com forward slash Chris Reardon UK is my username. The old cat that was dancing to your podcast this morning, scratching up my iPod, has kidney problems. Nothing to worry about, just old age. But I found her giving the pills this way was less stressful, as it was awkward to hold her. So, thank you very much for that, Stella. I don't know about the syringe, though, dear. I don't like the idea. It's actually... I mean... There hasn't been a time where I kind of haven't been able to give her one of the pills, if you see what I mean. I, I do manage to get them in there eventually, you know. <laughs> sometimes, as easy as that, sometimes it might take two or three goes. I think it just depends on her, uh, what sort of mood she's in. Absolutely the best time to give my cat her pills is, what, I know it sounds silly, is when she's just woken up. So what you have to do... <laughs> <laughs> wait till she's fallen asleep okay then you tip up quietly to her just stroke her and then her, her eyes will open slowly she don't run off you know she's quite comfortable or, or you say katie and her, and and her little head will come up slowly and literally as it comes up you you quickly put your two fingers in her mouth pull it back gently drop the pill in close it hold it like that for a couple of minutes stroking her neck and being all nice to her and then it's down. I find that the absolute easiest way of doing it, to be honest. All right. Incidentally, I've got my one of my Sports Direct mugs today. I want to point out that I am not sponsored by Sports Direct or anyone. You can sponsor this program if you want just £500 a week. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Stella. Lovely to hear from you, my darling. Um, Charlie Hydes from, uh, and, and this is from another YouTube um, uh, person, not just a YouTube person, but someone who's um, uh, uh, an entertainer. She had a drag act, a drag act, and very, very good indeed. Um, she's got her own uh, YouTube channel. You may want to give it a, a little look. Uh, adult themes on there, okay, adult themes. Uh, the user... The YouTube username on this one is Charlie Hides TV. C H A R L I E H I D E S T V. Charlie Hides TV. That's the YouTube username. Very good. Um, hell of a lot more viewings. I mean, millions, millions of people are literally watching their videos. So well done. Uh, and she says, Welcome back, Chris. Love the new short intro. Oh, yeah, I've got lots of different intros. In fact, there's, I think. Did we have a new intro today, or is it a new outro? I think there's a new outro today, I think, or a new intro, or both. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, um, what kind of microphone is that that you see on the left-hand side of the frame? Oh, you missing the mean this. I've got another one over here, so I haven't got to move that. Just to, Oh, it was over there. One minute, where's that got? There it is. One minute. Oh, there we are. Oh, let me just reach over here and get this to show you. Okay. This is exactly the same as the microphone I'm using, so I don't have to move it. This is the microphone I use that generally you, well, certainly for this show, you are hearing the sounds coming from one of these. This is a bay ringer. But is that how you say it? Bay ringer, yeah. Bay ringer B2 Pro. Okay, it's a bay, bay ringer B2 Pro. Comes uh, with with a little top to go on there and i find i think i find the sign sound is absolutely awesome on this i mean it really is you know i've, I've, I've tested it with I've dropped a pin and things like that and it picks everything up fantastic microphone now usually of course when i'm outside or you uh, usually you'll see me record on my little little lapel microphone one minute that's over here where's that now it's over here somewhere there it is Okay, there My little little lapel microphone. You you see me uh, or, or or hear me uh, recording via this one, but um, the gadget that that plugs into is. I'm just gonna put that back over there. Just a minute. Oh, what have I done now? That's 
that's it. Don't do that. There we are. So I've just got to log in this other computer over here. I won't be able to put the human show up later on. There we are. Um, yes, I'm not using that microphone at the moment because the recording gadget that I use to record the sound on, always outside, sometimes inside as well, uh, the little microphone socket on it has become noisy. And uh, I've sent that away, hopefully, for repair. Quite an expensive little gadget, that was. Um, it was about £800. I bought it mm, quite a few years ago now. And it's, it's, it's a wonderful little machine. And I looked around at other ones for, oh, maybe I'll get something there. And I thought, no, I want that one repaired, you know, because it's, it's done me so well until the microphone thing got noisy. And I also record my um, DJ sets on that sometimes. So that's gone away for repair. That's the reason we're using the older Bayringer B2 Pro. OK. Uh, hello to Voodoo Mick. Voodoo Mick. Now, let me tell you, Voodoo Mick, he does... Um, he's on that TV channel, Psych... Oh, what's it called now? My word. Uh, I'm sorry, Matt, I can't remember what channel you're on, but he's on one of the Sky channels, and he does uh, tarot card readings and that sort of thing, and he's very good. He's done mine three times. It's been bang on every time. Um, and uh, Voodoo Mick says, What a good looking, what a great looking studio. It almost looks virtual. Oh, it's not virtual, I'm afraid. This is real. Look, look. I can, I can... See? Look, this is real. There's nothing virtual about this. This is a real picture. Real picture behind me, those of you watching on YouTube, there's a mirror ball. If you're not watching on YouTube, if you're just listening to the show, I will describe for you. On your... What is it? On your... Is it on your left? Actually, I'm not sure now. <laughs> right, directly behind me is a little Union Jack. Uh, United Kingdom talk, that's the logo there. And then just above me to, I think it's to your right, I'm not sure, is a mirror ball, which is rotating. On the left is a chiming clock, which will chime again in about seven minutes' time. And uh, behind those things is a cloth with lots of little lights, which are um, all on. I can get them to move or sparkle, but I, I, I think, you know, if they start sparkling, that, that might put you off or whatever. Those of you that are watching the show, OK? Yeah, if you're just listening, um, then you can watch as well, OK? My YouTube user channel is Chris Reardon UK. All right, Chris Reardon UK is my YouTube channel. You can watch as well as just listen to the show. All right, thank you, Mick. Nice to hear from you, sir. Hello to... Um, oh, I know who they... This is from Marge. Marge in Oklahoma, who's become uh, a regular correspondent to the show. Marge, can I ask a little, tiny little favour? I think this is Marge. I'm sure this is Marge. Spirit Dove, Oklahoma. Is that you, Marge? I'm sure it is. Can I ask a little favour, Marge? You know when you send, like, lots of little emails, can you put it all in one one kind of big email rather than lots of little ones? And it's really, and it's much easier for me to, 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 to sort of read it out then. Otherwise, I'm sort of, oh, that's, oh, that's from her, oh, that's from her. And I try to put it all together and I get a bit confused. It's very dreadful getting confused in my old age, isn't it? really is. Spirit Dove says, I, if you don't want the Dalek, I want it. You must mean this Dalek. Yes. Exterminate, exterminate, exterminate. No, you're not having my Dalek. Oh, dear, can't give you that. That was a present from my niece either last year. That no, was it the year before last. And it's, a, it's actually an alarm clock. There's an alarm clock on that. And it says, wake up. It is time. Something, something strange like that. Wake up. So I can't give you my Dalek. Uh, by the way, have you seen the new series of Doctor Who that started last week? With the, what was it, Asylum of the Daleks. What a great start. Fantastic. Absolutely love the new Doctor Who series. Or so far, we've only had one programme so far. Uh, being a Saturday, it's a Saturday today, so there's another one tonight. But the first one was last week, and it was Asylum of the Daleks, and it was absolutely fantastic. I'm sure you've had it in America as well. Do you get... Um, Doctor Who, possibly on the BBC World Channel. I'm not sure what channel it's on in uh, in uh, in the States. All right. So no, I'm afraid I cannot possibly give you my Dalek. Um, Spirit Dove, Oklahoma, also says, I don't understand how a gay person, as in me, can be in a religion as I am, that says you are hell bound for being gay. I would not be happy that way. I don't believe in hell anyway. Yes. Um, 
So you've obviously picked up on the fact I'm gay and I'm also Roman Catholic. Now, you say there that I'm hellbound for being gay. I don't know that it does say that anywhere. I think, I think religious things are open to all sorts of um, the way you look into it, if you see what I mean. Uh, I, I, I do believe, you know, that it's, it's the case with all religions. You know, certainly uh, the extremists, not on any particular religion, but on all sorts of religion, are always there picking out bits and pieces that they think are true to, to happening, if you see what I mean. And yet someone else who's moderate would say to you that, no, it isn't at all. So I'm not sure that it, that it does say anywhere that we are hell-bound for being gay. Not sure about that at all, you know? But I am gay. I am also Catholic. I go to church most Sundays. That's me. You know, that's me. So that's um, that's me. A lot of people don't understand that, um, but that's me, and how, that's how I carry on. So there we go. That's it. You know? All right, lovely to hear you. Uh, also, John, and thank you for becoming becoming a regular listener and viewer. I'm pleased to have you on board, Marge. And I love your name as well, Marge. Love that name. Hello to John Golding. Hello, John, who says, yay, you're back. I am indeed. John, I am back. At the moment, once a week, OK? I think we can just about manage once a week. So there we are. Hello to Suzanne Brown. Hello, Suzanne, who says, hi, Chris. Just thought I would message you on here. I listened to your talk show you recorded and really enjoyed listening to it. Thank you, Suzanne. Suzanne is a new viewer, a new viewer. You may remember me when I came to your karaoke night at uh, Belushi's in Borough High Street, where you are every uh, Monday and Wednesday in April. I am the one that had the X Factor auditions. Yes, I definitely, I absolutely remember you. You had glasses and a, a lovely smiling face, if I remember rightly. I will have to come uh, stay up there again sometime soon, as I had such a good time at the karaoke there. Where do you live then? Do you, do you not live in London? Are you a little bit far away? Hmm? You must be far away from us. A lot has happened since then. I left the radio station I was DJing for and now become uh, general manager of Legacy FM Radio. Is that an FM is that an FM station or is that um is that online, my darling? I had a job while working in Bedford, but had to give it up as my health issues were so bad. I'm now finally back in radio again, and I'm also still trying hard to continue my singing as well. Anyway, I thought I would contact you as I hadn't had time before since I had a lot going on that was keeping me busy. Hope all is well, and maybe sometime I will come to London for a night out with my mates. Speak to you soon from Susie. So thanks for that, Susie. Nice to have you in for my darling. I definitely remember you. And uh, just because you didn't get into the um, X Factor doesn't mean you... Why should you stop singing? You know, why should you stop singing? OK, listen, we are not all meant to be pop singers. OK, it's like me. I'm probably not meant to be doing a talk show on the radio. So I do it on podcast and YouTube. But I'm still doing it because I love it. Suzanne, do you love singing? You do? I thought so. So carry on. Just turn up at karaoke nights and sing to your heart's content. I say this to everyone. You're not supposed, perhaps, to be on MTV or whatever it is that people are on or X Factor or things like that okay but it doesn't matter you can still go to karaoke nights and open mic evenings and sing do it if you love it doesn't matter what other people think you do it my darling because that's what I do all right thank you Susan um oh I've read that one already look at that Hello to lovely Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Long time no hear from Jennifer, who says, So great to see you talking to us. Hope you continue, but I understand uh, you needed a break. I'll watch your other videos from time to time. Um, Jennifer says, The headaches you were talking about sound like an ocular migraine. Now, I've not heard that word. Uh, she says, I get them once in a while. So, uh, well, 
I hope not to get them for a while now because I'm not really tired at any point. I do sometimes driving home from work, certainly on a Saturday because it's a it's a bit of a long drive on a Saturday. Sometimes I get a bit tired driving home um, there, but certainly haven't got the migraines. The migraines come when I'm really tired. I know they do. Jennifer also says, um, you have Dallas and I in stitches. Dallas is her daughter. I, I like to I like to keep you... A little bit of a chime there from my clock. You like that, don't you? I like to keep you laughing. I absolutely like to keep you laughing. She says, Dallas wants to know if she still has an arranged marriage with your nephew, Jimmy. Well, Jimmy's now 15. And I'm wondering, actually, Jennifer, are you, are you, is she, I can't remember now. Is your daughter Facebook friends with my nephew? I'm sure we can get some photos going backwards and forwards and little messages, nice little messages, um, you know, uh, telling them their undying love for each other. I, too, hope to have a message like that from someone at some point. But it's not happening. Oh, I can sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me, I'm sneezing. And not a tit. Oh, here it is. A tissue. I'm going to blow my nose very, very quietly now. Just a moment, please. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> yes. I do hope to have a message from someone one day telling me their love for me it hasn't happened yet though um so there we are thank you uh jennifer and of course lovely dallas nice to hear from you both hello to vectis vectis humphrey who writes via email nice to have you back it's nice to be back as well vectis it really is and duffy 512 also says nice to have you back a uh, travel is um duffy i know you are but what what happens with the, the YouTube messages and the Facebook messages and the email messages, I'm never quite sure. Sometimes I get confused because everyone's got, like, nicknames and things like that on these various other sites or, or whatever. And I get confused as to who's who. Can, you know when you're writing a letter via whatever method, can you put your name at the bottom so I can, <laughs> so I can remember who you are? Duffy512. Now, who's that? That is... No, I can't remember. I'm sorry, can't remember. Can't remember. And uh, another one is Stella. Now, that must be... See, is that Stella? Is that Stella as in Steve? Or is that the other Stella that I read an email from earlier? I'm not quite sure. Can you put your name at the bottom? Like, say, Chris Reardon. Could you put that at the bottom of whatever message you send in and I don't know where it's come from? Stella says, welcome back, Chris. I'll have to start my own presentation, presentation show. Thanks for sharing. Yes, you will. If you want to do it, just do it. That's how I started. If you want to do it, just do it. Hello to Stacy. Oh, my little little niece in law, Stacy. Stacy is the mother of Evie, who you saw last week, who is married to my nephew, Gary. Okay. Stacy writes, love the show. You did, however, make me slightly emotional. Like to get emotional. We absolutely do. It's a shame you can't move closer to us all. You know we would love it, and Evie would adore having you here and Tracy's baby when it comes. You looked quite sad talking about. Well, I am sad. You know, it is sad that that we're far away, Stacey. You know, my sister and her family are three three and a half hours drive from here, and you are too far away. We are too far away. You know, in distance and time. But what can you do? What can you do? All my work is in London. All of it, except one, which is in Colchester, which I suppose would be even further to drive from Lincolnshire. You know, I'd be having to leave. If I moved to Lincolnshire, I'd, I'd, I'd have to leave for a 10 o'clock job. I'd have to be leaving at 10, 9, 8. I'd have to leave at 7 o'clock at night, wouldn't I? When would I sleep? Yeah. Unless, of course... Unless, of course, you, uh, your, my nephew, Gary, could drive me up and down the motorway and I could sleep in the car. But I have to be a bigger car. I can't be sleeping in a small car, I'm afraid. Um, Evie sends her favourite great uncle a big kiss and smile. Mwah! And a big kiss to Evie as well. Looking rather gorgeous with all these photos you keep sending me. Hello to Matt Joplin. Hello, Matt, who says, what a lovely surprise to have you back. Surprise, surprise! Yes. A little bit of bursting into song there. Must find some time to sing to you again soon, boys and girls. Hello to Sean. Hello, Sean. Sean Bolger, who used to be on Talk Radio UK. Yes, he used to be on there. See, all the stars are listening to you. 
all the stars are listening. Probably Shirley Bassey and Barry Manilow listen to this show as well. Just a few people that like to join us for a little bit of madness once or twice a week. Sean writes, hello, dear. Dear? Dear? Do I look like a deer, do I? It's so lovely to have you back on my iPod again. I know you've been doing stuff with Reach, but my hours are so erratic now that I seem to manage to listen to stuff that's on demand. So I was thrilled when iTunes started downloading a new United Kingdom talk yesterday. Yeah, I was doing a little um, uh, music and chat show on Reach. But um, I found the getting up in the mornings a little bit too much and it was causing migraines. You may have heard this last week, of course. Um, so I did have to knock that on the head. And I was disappointed to have to knock that because I did enjoy that. It's great fun doing a show live with music and chat, and it, it really is great fun, but unfortunately time is not allowing it. I guess I'll have to wait, I don't know, until perhaps I retire, although I don't don't ever see myself retiring. I don't know, Sean. You know, the the, 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 the where I go and do my DJing and karaoke nights, and especially the quiz night, especially quiz night, I love doing these little jobs. I really do. I do not, I'm not one of these people that is, oh, oh you know, oh, only another few years I can retire. I don't think I want to do that. On the other hand, it would give me time to do other things. So, you know, six one half dozen or the other. Sean says, I had exactly the same kind of migraines and like you, it was all down to stress and tiredness. It was quite scary, though, because my sight would almost completely disappear and without a headache. Yes. Now, I wouldn't say my sight completely disappeared, but certainly part of it did. And it was just like a wavy line going like that, and I couldn't work out what it said on the computer screen. So exactly the same as me, no headache. I had no idea what was going on. Thankfully, I've had nothing now for about 18 months. But the quack said, that's the doctor, the doctor said caffeine was one of the things that often help keep them at bay. So it seems caffeine can be good for you. Oh, I should continue drinking my tea, which incidentally is decaffeinated. I've, I don't drink um, caffeinated tea all day long because it, it, it kind of made, made my heart jump for a little while, according to the doctor. Just a minute. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. So I limit myself to about four or five cups of normal tea a day. And they are all large cups like that. And then the rest of my tea is uh, decaffeinated. Um, he says, anyway, hope all's well with you at your end. And that you're happy and in good health from Sean. P.S. I'm with you on Twitter. What is all that about? Yeah, I don't have Twitter. I did have Twitter for a while, Sean. Um, I never worked it out, really. I, I did have it set up so that everything I did on Facebook would be posted on the Twitter. But I, I just, I, I, I didn't seem to work out how to get messages from people or follow people or any of that. I just don't get it. I, I still don't get it now. And I closed my account down a, a number of months ago now. I just, Twitter to me is completely pointless. Why, oh why, the BBC... Um, are con and ITV, they're constantly pushing it, aren't they? Constantly pushing this Twitter thing all the time. I'm not in... Gets on my nerves. Really gets on my nerves sometimes. Hello to lovely Jean Evans. Hello, Jean, who writes, Thank you so much for your private message, Chris. So glad to see you back. And thanks to that guy, Richard, uh, Richard Hanna, for seeking you out. Uh, Richard Hanna from Global... Global City Radio. Global City Radio. We owe him thanks. You always cheer me up, Chris. And what a surprise I got when I put my computer on today and saw your face. Oh, you'll have a damaged computer now, my dear. It will be damaged. Don't go away. Don't go away. Don't go away. I'm sure that's a song. Can't remember. All right. That's from Gene Evans. Thank you, Gene, from your lovely, lovely email there, my darling. Hello to Millie. Millie in Minnesota. Who writes, I'm so pleased you did a show yesterday, uh, that's last week. I hope you will do them now, regularly. I'm here, regular now. I missed you loads and send you big cuddles. Oh, big hugs for Muggy. Uh, Millie, I've had a Millie hug. I have had a Millie hug a couple of years ago. Believe me, they are, they are hugs. At the moment, I'm indeed at the cottage, but we'll be going back home on Wednesday, so you're probably back home now, uh, aren't you, Millie? Nice to hear from you. Lovely, lovely Millie. Hello to Zach. Zach writes, good to see you back, Chris. Hopefully no more migraines this time around. Well, I hope not. 
I do hope not. Not nice. Not nice, those migraines. And frightening, really. To be quite honest, they are quite frightening, those migraines, when you have them. And uh, you don't, you never, as, as I say, you know, they were, they were generally over in in an hour. They would stop and then you could see again. But it, it, it is quite frightening. You're wondering what on earth's going on there. Hello to Guillermo. Guillermo, how are you, sir? In the US of A, who writes, Hello, Chris. This is Guillermo from Facebook. Awesome to catch the show on iTunes. The minute I saw it there, there was a new episode. I proceeded with breakneck speed over to iTunes to download it. Didn't matter that it will cost me as my internet billing, as they are crooks and tarred charge for downloads, data and connectivity separately. Do they really? Oh, we don't have any of that. That smiling faces and the messages are worth it. No, we don't have that there. I pay a set amount. I think it's about £41 a month. And for that, that's my connectivity, all my downloads. That's everything. That's everything. And I also get um, line rental on my telephone included in that. So it's £41 for all the internet I can eat. And my telephone. Not for calls. That's only for the line rental. Okay. So. So it sounds like. Where are you again? Are you in. I know you're in the States. What part? Are you in Austin? Can't remember now. Are you in Tennessee? Can't remember. Uh, tell me. Tell me. Well, I can't remember where you are. Thank you for your feedback. Because uh, Guillermo was doing some videos as well. Thank you for the feedback on my videos. I want to do something like what you were doing. And I think I will up so upload something to iTunes in the next couple of months. And I think it would be nice. I do want to get some of my software. Uh, I do want to get some software to do the intros. So it won't be as dry as a mile of cracked pavements when it starts. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. Be well. Uh, oh, San Francisco. That's where you are. All oh, my friends going to San Francisco. Francisco in a couple of weeks that's somewhere I've never visited San Francisco you can call me Nemo for short if you like why Nemo are you always in the water like Nemo the fish I like that finding Nemo did you see that film that was good now my intros let me tell you I do not create my intros there's a website uh, it's called Fiverr F I double V E R. I'm gonna, just going to check that for you. Don't want to be giving you the wrong information, my darling. One second. Ba, ba, ba. Firing up computer number two. There we are. Let me just check what it is. F I. Uh, 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 uh. I think that's right. No, that's wrong. Oh. oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, I suppose. It's Fiverr.com, but I can't remember how you spell. There it is. F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, okay? So, Fiverr, www.fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com. And on that site, you will find people who will do things for you for just $5. Very good indeed, $5. And among there, look for video and animation. On the right, you'll see uh, a little blue section. Uh, it says video and animation. Click on there, and you will find people that will make you short intros with or without music for just five dollars and i've got quite a few now there's a new one coming up at the end of the show as well okay so i've got quite a few on there now um that i've downloaded from various different people and they're only five dollars and it's well worth having one of those okay well um i think i better go now because we've done done quite a long show haven't we i've got two emails that i'll start with next week if that's okay guys uh matthew because yours was a lovely long email that matthew sent me there which i do appreciate and uh james as well which i'll do on the next show now i do intend to try and do at least one show a week maybe two uh, but definitely one show a week as from now. My email address, if you want to contact the show uh, about anything at all, is chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. I'm also on Facebook. My Facebook username is Chris Reardon UK. If you want to join me there, Chris Reardon UK. 
Uh, and again, YouTube, YouTube username, if you're a listener and you want to see what it'll look like, uh, YouTube username is again, Chris Reardon UK. Just remember, just before I go, um, I've got other bits here that I was supposed to talk about today. I've completely run out of time. Haven't I, really? I don't want to make it too long because you'll probably get bored then. Uh, but just to say, we now have the new series of Dallas here in the UK. It's every Wednesday night at nine o'clock on Channel 5. I've got to say, bit disappointed with the way Channel 5 is screening it. When they go to the adverts, it's very sudden. There's no, like, you know caption comes up or anything like that but unfortunately that it, it does appear how a lot of the commercial channels are, it's, 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 it's untidy it's untidy I'm sure certainly Sean you'll know exactly what I mean here the way Channel 5 is screening Dallas it's untidy the way it goes into the adverts but you know a small price to pay for the return of Dallas I've seen the first episode already it is fantastic it is as good as the old one. If you haven't watched it there, certainly here in the UK, you must watch it. Please give it a go. Dallas, Channel 5, Wednesday nights at 9 o'clock. Okay? I'll see you on the next show. Thanks so much for watching and listening. It's been a pleasure. Bye-bye.